black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Okay, so here's the deal, man. I've been entirely too passionately critical of the KSU Twister and how shitty it is. And then I had it in the video and I was like, this sucks, there's ice in the lettuce, there's ice in the wrap. Also, I've been struggling about who's got the better chicken. They don't have a wrap though, they just have sandwiches, but KFC has their wrap. So I was out and about, I was like, let me get some nuggets. I cut them up, I halved them for wrapping purposes, but we have two tortillas here. And then some shit that I had in the fridge that I was like, this could be used for wraps. A Popeye's chicken twister, kind of Southwest, kind of old El Paso taco-esque, but bacon needed to be used. These guys, two taco shells that were in my cupboard that also needed to be used. We like crunch inside of things. Obviously this, and then, and of course, I got them to bless me or bless myself with the best blackened ranch ever. And then we got hoodies, honey must. So we're gonna do one black and ranch, one honey must, all the fixings, and we're gonna toast them properly with oil on a pan. Okay, KF Sizzle and Pop Hizzle, let's take a little consumerist revenge and autocorrect. Let's do this right. The first thing is first. It's called an adhesive glue in the form of this sauce. Give her a spoon. Doesn't take a long time. Just give her a little spoon. Adhesive the lettuce. <laughs> Sprinkle the cheese. Not that hard. Oh. <laughs> Maybe some old crunchy bits. We could always put some old crunchy bits in there. Not hard to line a bitch with some chicken. Maybe on one side of the chicken, you bless it with bacon. Couple tomatoes, couple Tommies. Do a little 360 for the boy. Now this took me under 15 seconds to actually throw together in real life. It's not a long time. You come in with the next glop and a drizz, my guy. And then it's quite literally a zip, a zap, a tuck in the ends, and that's that. A little pressy press, a little residual canola brush. Don't even stress me, dog. Both same. Toss her down, Charlie Brown, eh? Hey, flipper. Oh, perfect. Sealed and secured. All right, gotta cross these sections. Right over both. And we reveal. There it is, my guys. My Popeyes, my KFC, my home fridge twisters. All right, y'all, welcome to Hoodie's Botanical Garden and Apothecary and uh, Rappery. <laughs> because we're doing reparations on wraps, okay? <laughs> I know I give KFC a hard ass time. I give fast food a hard ass time. I'm on not the Zoom cam, so you're not going to get to look Zoom into it because I'm in a situation where. The light is dwindling, although it is uh, currently almost 10 o'clock at night. Now this won't be completely dark till 11, and that's a uh, Canadian thing we'll have to talk about because I feel like people keep talking about it on the channel, but uh, we're not on the zoom cam style. We're on the front facing forward cam, but this is the, uh, the Popeyes, <laughs> Fuck you, KFC and Popeyes together rendition wrap that we're doing together with the best sauce ever. Uh, Popeyes sauce, Popeyes chicken, and then shit, I, I had it home to make it KFC-esque. So this is how I feel like things should be, but it's fast food and we shouldn't expect a lot, even though the prices are very expensive these days. So let's have a bite and then discuss, you know, light times. That's thy neighborhood. Now, I know. This is homemade and not comparative because. I made a true twister. I twisted this bitch up. 
with many more things than a twister would have. I don't really know why KFC calls it a twister, but I think it's because of like almost the chicken looks like a tornado, like the strips. Like they get thrown in a batter, <laughs> like roll around, and then they get fried and they look like a twister, but then they get twisted into a wrap. So, probably that. I do, however, love the contrast between the botanical, the botanical uh, garden and the holistic vibes. And I'm sitting here eating bacon deep fried chicken. <laughs> The sauces with preservatives and hyd hydrogenated things, oils and such. Now, let's talk about the lighting of uh, Canada. Perfect toast. Y'all know I know how to do perfect toast. Not perfect wrap. I wish it could zoom, but it can't. All right, this is the honey musty. Same ass ingredients. My own homemade extra saucy honey must. I keep getting comments saying, what? It's basically Alaska up there in the summertime. Sun doesn't dip till eleven o'clock. I gotta move to Canada. Okay, but also, well, the honey mustard is actually, I think it's the one. I understand that this is for literally like thirty days out of the year, or maybe forty-five. Between mid June to late July, sun's up at five forty-five, and that shit don't drop till eleven o'clock at night. That being said, it slowly declines through August into September, and then for the rest of like nine more months. Rolling with the homies slowly but surely. It uh for the largest portion of the year. The sun doesn't rise until eight thirty, nine AM. And it's dark by four thirty PM. Five o'clock, and it's <laughs> thirty days of night essentially, but except for like five months, minus thirty, wind chill. No. That what makes you want to commit suicide. I'm not and I'm not exaggerating. It's like <laughs> it's that much snow. It's a very unchill amount of snow. Now snow now it varies per the year and per the uh, El Nino and El Nino, but like for the most part, no matter what, 
we getting dumped on. We getting dark. And it's freezing. For most of the year. Okay? Really what I'm trying to say. Also, as per this Vizky, I didn't think it possible because I love that sauce so much from Popeyes, the uh, black and ranch, but this honey mustard. Wrap. <laughs> There's something different. Way too good. Oh my god. The best. Simply the best, better than all the rest. All right, I told myself I was only gonna have half of each one because I was trying to eat kind of light. But the honey mustard one was so good that I had to have the whole one, obviously the half of the other one. And now I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna finish this. I'm just gonna do a final comparative countdown. So one last Zaze bite on this last half. So I could confirm that the honey mustard is, was, always will be totally it in the botanical garden. All right, y'all, super random. Like I said, I was just out and about, knew I had shit at home, had like the whole, like, I could get some nuggets from Popeye's, make a twister at home with stuff I had at home on my mind. But man, I'll tell you what, that honey mustard one, they're both good. But that honey mustard one would be a kill a hoodie home hater. Yeah, and sometimes you get burns at work. Okay, until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.